everyone, welcome back to a, another video. Today's video I'm really, 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 really excited to film because it means we're getting one step closer to our Disney World holiday, which I am so excited for. If you guys are new, you may not know that we are going to Disney World in just over two weeks and I can't believe it. When I say we, it's myself, my husband and our little boy Buzz. So. It will be mine and Ollie's um, second trip together. We're actually going for his 30th birthday, so he will turn 30 whilst we're out there, which will be really, really fun to celebrate such a like big birthday out there. Um, and it's obviously Buzz's first trip and first holiday abroad. So really, really excited. Filming this video, it just means we're one step closer and I currently have um, COVID <laughs> whilst I'm filming this. I am kind of coming out the other side of it now and feeling a little bit better. Hence why I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some makeup on, but my voice does keep like running out and cutting out and I do have to keep stopping to cough. So if there's a lot of cuts, that's why. I just thought I would do the first pack with me, which will be Buzz's. He is the easiest for me to kind of do right now because I have been like collecting his stuff for ages and like he's got basically a whole Disney wardrobe that he doesn't need to use before we go kind of thing. Um, I've bought loads of his stuff on Vintage and just been picking up little bits and bobs from all over the place really for quite a while now. Hopefully this is interesting and helpful to any of you who are traveling with a toddler, whether that's Disney World or completely somewhere complete or somewhere completely different. Hopefully this is still helpful. And if you don't have a little one, hopefully you find it interesting. If you don't want to watch me packing for a little one, that is totally fine. I will be doing a pack with me for my own stuff very, very soon. We are flying with British Airways. Buzz is a lap infant, but it does say that he does get his own case. So we are going to be taking three large cases, which may seem excessive, but with nappies and things, they take up so much room. So it will kind of fill up a case on the way out. And then on the way back, at least we've got room for kind of any shopping and bits and bobs we get when we're out there um so yeah i'm going to pack it all into one case for now but i think nearer the time once i've kind of sorted out what i want to take and what my husband wants to take i think i'm going to split our stuff like thirds so like each case will have like a third of our stuff in so if any one of those cases goes missing or gets delayed or something like awful happens which touch wood won't but if it does we've at least all got like enough to kind of see us through that time, do you know what I mean? So, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you what I've kind of got laid out on the bed for now, and we will go from there. So, this is all of Buzz's stuff I've kind of laid out here. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of outfits. There are like more outfits than I thought. I normally use packing cubes as well, but this time I've got one there that I think I'm gonna use for his outfits. Um, but yeah, most of our packing cubes have like broken, the zips have just burst and all of that stuff. I got them from Amazon and yeah, they weren't great ones. So I don't know if I'm going to buy more, but um, yeah, for now with his stuff, it's pretty easy to like keep it all together in outfits. Like it kind of all rolls really small and it's easy for me to see the outfits. What I am going to do and I've started doing what I'm going to do as I go here is taking a photo of each outfit. If for any reason, the tops and the shorts become separated. It's easy for me to not have to like stress when we're there as well. Just go, oh, that's one of his outfits. That's one of his outfits. I have actually seen a hack of people like putting each outfit in like a Ziploc bag, which seems really good. Um, but I don't really think that's necessary for this because like I said, everything of his kind of just stays together quite neatly and quite nicely. When he starts wearing like pants and things as well, then maybe more so. Um, but yeah, I don't intend to have him in vests as well as his outfits because it's going to be super hot when we're out there. So I think just shorts and a t-shirt will be enough. I will still be taking vests for the evenings um, under clothes because it will get cooler. Um, but I think I'm not going to need a vest for every outfit. I, I don't think so. So yeah, let's get into it. I've got this one large packing cube that I'm going to try and put most of his outfits in, I think. I think I should be able to do that. So I've got quite a few like cute little outfits, to be honest. I'm really excited for him to be wearing them. Um, I won't show you all of them, but lots of them are just kind of cute t-shirts and shorts I've been collecting from Vinted, Primark, H&M. Um, I think they're the main places really, but yeah, really cute. So what I kind of do is I just fold them up, but then I'm gonna roll them together. So that is like one outfit. Now you could go extra and put a little bobble around them, but that might give it a crease. And yeah, I don't think that's too necessary. I'm just gonna start putting them in here and um, see how we get on. This little outfit is what he wore for his birthday 
first birthday party um but i thought it'd be a cute little peter pan bound i don't know if he will end up wearing all of these outfits but i want to take these options anyway obviously i have taken like i said he's at the age where he's getting quite mucky so it's not that realistic that he's going to be able to wear um outfits multiple times like the same pair of shorts again and again ignore all this mess by the way like it looks messier on camera than it does in real life um but yeah he's not really at the age where i can like keep him wearing the same pair of shorts and changing t-shirts i mean a bit i can you give him an ice cream he's gonna be covered head to toe so i'm gonna start rolling them up but as i'm going i'm gonna just take little photos of the outfit so i know what is what um but i'll pop you on a little time lapse now <laughs> I got this recently from H&M and I just think it is so freaking adorable. It's this little like polo but it's not got buttons so it's like quite casual and cute and just little shorts but it's like surfer Mickey and I think it's adorable. If there's anything I kind of show in here that um, I think will still be available I will try and link it below for you. Um, I do also try and link like a lot of this stuff on Instagram um, so make sure to follow me over there if you're not already. I actually made this the other day um, for Buzzy. It says, you've got a friend in me. And I just thought it was so cute. I just bought um, a pack of like blank vests from H&M and made this. And I'm so glad I did because I'm so happy with it. this recently it's a little goofy shorts and t-shirt set from Primark I think it's really cute I really love this one this was another recent H&M purchase it's this little goofy top and then it's got a huge goofy on the back and it just comes with these really cute like sweat shorts um, with him all over I just really love the color um, I think it's such like a lovely holiday colour. Got this really cute bomber jacket again from H&M um, a while ago, but I think they do still have it. And I thought this would be perfect for the like cooler evenings and things. I do have a couple of hoodies, but not lots. I don't know if I need to take a bit more, but I think that should be okay. Um, we'll take a light little blanket as well for his legs and stuff, I suppose. But yeah, I'm going to double check all the temperatures obviously nearer the time, but hopefully... Hopefully it will be okay. Okay, so that is pretty much all of Buzz's outfits in there. I just kept this shirt out because I didn't want to squash it and get it too creased. Um, and it was looking a little bit that way. But yeah, that's all of his like outfits so we just use these suitcases from it luggage if you can see there it luggage we get them from primark ollie and i have had ours for a really long time now probably coming up to seven eight years or something like that a really long time we did just go and buy another one for buzz i think it was around 50 pounds um but they are super lightweight the hard shell ones do look nice but I've seen so many of them get cracked, like the American Teresa ones I would love to have and one day I I would quite like to have one. Um, the ones that have like the kissing Minnie and Mickey or the kissing Donald and Daisy, I just think they're so cute. Maybe it's like a hand luggage because then you look after them a bit more but yeah I feel like the lightweight um, fabric ones are like more likely to last a lot longer I suppose. I've just put Buzzy's clothes in there so let's see what else I need to add. So over here I've got like more kind of other bits and bobs so I've got all of his shoes so yeah he's got these little trainers and I just thought they were so adorable and he seemed really comfy in them and like happy running around in those he's got these little sandals these little brown sandals these were just from H&M and so were the trainers I do also have these for him in like a light green color so I think I will take those as well I just picked up these um water shoes for him from Asda so I need to go and check that they fit him okay but I thought for him um we're not going like to the beach or anything but I just thought for by the pool sometimes the floor can be a little bit rough to walk on and like just 
I don't know, I just figured this might be a nice little option like for the water parks and stuff like that. Sometimes it can get really hot, the floor where it's like really sunny and stuff. We have three hats for him. We've got this really cute Buzz Lightyear hat. Now I'm saying three hats, right? Does the boy keep a hat on his head? No. Do I have any faith that he will in Florida? No. Will I probably get judged for uploading pictures and vlogging with him not wearing a hat? Yes. <laughs> but I cannot get him to keep a hat on. If he's like distracted, if I put the hat on his head and like sing and like go, oh look over there and like make a big thing and like completely distract him. Sometimes I can get him to not realize he's got it on for a little while, but as soon as he realizes he's got it on, he launches it across the floor. So I don't have every faith that this will be returning home with us, but I hope it does, because I really do like it. This was from Next in the sale a while ago, though. I just picked up this one um, from H&M. It was like £2.99. It's just a plain navy cap, in case, you know, one does happen to get thrown somewhere. I thought this one might be a good one to just have by the pool. Like, it doesn't matter if it gets wet and, like, a bit grubby and things. Um, whereas this one, I feel like is a nice one. I'd like him to wear that, like, in the parks. But for, like, water parks, pool afternoons and stuff. And I did also pick him up this one because I thought it'd be good because it's got the, it's got a little tie so he can, we can tie that under his chin and then hopefully he won't be able to take it off but he might be a bit upset with us. <laughs> he really is, like, showing his like sassy side at the minute and like telling us what he does and doesn't like. I've got here a couple of muslins and a wearable bib. I've not used muslins for him for months and months and months and months but I feel like they are really handy to like mop up spillages, to cover legs if they're cold, to like they're like multi-purpose great like even if Ollie and I need them like I don't know I just thought I'd pack them because I would rather have them than not. Um, and then this bib. Now these are all quite old grubby things now. Like they're clean, but they're like old and stained and stuff. So if these don't end up coming back with us, it's not the end of the world. We will be taking other bibs, but yeah, this one's quite handy because it covers like his whole arms and whole like torso. So I just bought these Solar Buddies. Um, a friend of mine suggested them. She said they're really, really good for putting sun cream on little ones who don't like having sun cream put on. So what you do is you take off the lid and you pop your sun cream in there. You pop the lid back on with the sun cream in there and then inside here is a roller ball um so it like disperses the sun cream on your little one and then it's got this sponge applicator so it like dabs it in um so you can hopefully the premise is you can put your sun cream on them without getting all like sticky and factor 50 yourself um and i don't know maybe he'll prefer this maybe he'll think it's fun rather than me like using my hands to do it so I picked up a couple of these we'll see if they work um I did get a couple of replacement heads because I read the reviews say that the heads sometimes fall off so I just thought I'd just get it all in one and yeah we'll see but um I might just take one I don't know but I thought I'd share that tip with you guys because my friend said it was a lifesaver so um thank you Robin you have been like the guru of me getting my crap together for this holiday but yeah apparently these are really good you know how shiny I've suddenly got I am very very hot all of a sudden like I said I have the Rona I keep getting the fever I keep getting like the sweats and all of the fun stuff so powering through <laughs> for the sake of this lovely video <laughs> here I have got pajamas for him I've got three pairs of shorts and t-shirt pajamas because I thought that that would be what we need, because obviously it's going to be super hot over there. But then thinking about it, the aircon in the room does make you quite cold. So then I'm like, well, should I just put him in his normal long sleeve pyjamas? I don't know. I'm going to take these and hopefully we can just turn the aircon down a bit, because I don't like being too cold anyway. And I don't think it's that great to like sleep with the aircon blasting on you all the time. I think it can make you feel a little bit under the weather sometimes. So... Yeah, I've got three sets of the short sleeve one. I think I will try and grab another pair. But to be honest with you, I have got so many like cozy shorts and t-shirts like exactly the same as this pretty much that I've packed as like outfits so I don't think I'll need them all so I probably could get away with just not taking another pair of pajamas and just using one of those instead. I have bought this sleeping bag now Buzz still sleeps with a sleeping bag he likes to feel like contained I think um but I thought again that he might be too hot like he's currently in like a winter one here still um so yeah I bought this one but I just thought for like the protection and like him feeling like wrapped up he would still like it but yeah I think it's like a, what, half a tog or one tog like really really thin just like a muslin material um but yeah from M&S and I thought that would be perfect for the holiday. <laughs> I've got him some sunnies now look look I don't think he's gonna keep these on because he won't keep a hat on. I've got him three swimsuits. I think that should be enough. Um, they're all like wetsuit ones. I have shown them 
um, in his haul video where I show like everything I've got him for the holiday. Two of them are from Vinted and one of them, this one was from H&M. I have this towel for him, it's just a hooded like poncho type towel. Um, I do think the resorts provide towels or at least they did when we went before so um, like by the pool and things so we might not need it but I just thought to take with us to water parks or whatever like it's nice to have one that throws over him and then he's all nice and snuggly. I've got these um, swim nappies that we've had for ages they were too big for him when I got them but I don't know I'm gonna see if they still fit him okay or if I need to buy more this is a pack of 11 so I don't know if we'll need more than that probably I don't know but I figured I suppose we can always get more out there but everyone has told me that nappies are really really expensive in Florida so I don't know I'm gonna see I'll have a little think and see if I think this will be enough popping his pajamas on top of the packing cube as well sleeping bag can probably fold up over here too in terms of normal nappies the ones he wears are the Mamiya ones from Aldi he's in six class there's 26 here in a pack and I think we worked it out that we would probably use around around 46 to 50. I think we're gonna take two bags of these. I did pick up two to like pack, but we actually opened one of them because where we have COVID, we didn't wanna go out to the shop to buy more. So I was like, let's just go into our Florida ones and I'll replace them. So I need to buy one more pack of these, but I'm gonna pop them in here too. So I will take nappy bags in our like park bag and his changing bag, but I'm gonna have some of these just for the hotel room as well because obviously we will change his bum there, but also just these can come in handy for lots of little things that you might not realize. If there's any like accidents or anything, it's just handy to have these knocking about. So I'm gonna pop some of those in here. So I think I'm gonna use this other little packing cube that I have just found. The zips do still work on this one, whoop whoop. Um, I'm gonna use this one for his swimsuits and his swim towel and also his shoes I think I mean they're clean they're new so I think that's fine to pop those in there these ones have been worn once so I'll just pop them that way up so they're not on the clothes and then like I said I need to just check these fit him but I'll pop them in here for now just to make sure it all fits nicely he does also have some little crocs that I might take um and he also will be wearing his little trainers his little air forces on the plane I think I'm gonna like go through this in more detail in my packing video because it's got all of our stuff in but Basically, he's got sun cream in here, his toothbrush, toothpaste, the sun cream applicator. Um, I bought him this body wash, this hair and body wash, because I figured it'd be easier to just have one thing that I can use on his hair and his body rather than take two separate things. And this smells so, so nice. This is the Child's Farm um, watermelon and pineapple, and it smells so good. I thought that's such a good scent for holiday. his little caps on there Okay, something else that is a new purchase for this holiday is a pram fan. Now, for our trip before, we did have a handheld fan, which we will be taking for Ollie and I, but this I bought. It has this little like tripod thing, but it's got the wraparound legs so you can attach it to his pram and you can have it in there. So if he's like trying to nap or like in his pram and it's really super hot, um, you can have this in there. I think it changes angle. I don't know if that's how I meant to do it, it sounds a bit aggressive. Um, but yeah, it has this LED light, I don't know why I'd need that, but quite handy, it's got a few different settings, um, and then it's just a USB charger, so we can charge this every night back at the room, um, and have this in the pram for him, so that'll keep him nice and cool. I think what I've read is that you're not meant to have it like directly on their face, but just in the, in the pram, so the air's nice and cool in there for them. Um, yeah, this wasn't very expensive at all, but I got it from Amazon, I will link it below. In terms of what we're taking on the plane, I have been collecting a few bits and bobs for a little while now, just like whenever I've thought of something that might be good or whenever someone has suggested something to me, I've like made a little note and I've kind of ordered a couple of bits and bobs that I think may help us on the plane to keep him entertained and to try and make us all have the nicest flight possible. I'm gonna use his um, Tibra and Mull changing bag. I have done a whole video on this bag when I got it, so um, make sure to go and find that if you want kind of a more 
descriptive kind of showing of this bag but this is his changing bag it is huge i think we're going to use this as a park bag as well when we're out there but it'll be really handy on the plane to have such a big bag with all of his bits and bobs in if you can hear him crying downstairs it is like definitely coming up to bedtime and he had like a broken nap today so he's a little bit grumpy also he's also got the virus so he's been a bit under the weather but um ollie is with him and trying to cheer him up and get him all ready for bed so if you can hear a little one crying then that is why but i thought i would try and take a mixture of like new and old so the first new thing i got but i have shown it to him is this my busy activity board again this was a recommendation from my friend robin she got one for her little one for their flight and she said he loved it um and it basically opens up into this little well quite large act actually crocodile and it's just like all different things so there's a zipper um there's like a pop pocket um like an elasticated pocket thing laces buttons um like belt plug things like toggles and um yeah buckles velcro a clock spinning wheels he loves spinning wheels so he does like this part of it something you can just sit and do with them on the plane and um yeah i do give it to him sometimes like if i need to like hoover his room and i pop him in his cot like he'll sit and play with this so yeah it's a new purchase but we have been kind of getting him used to it for the last few weeks and he has really enjoyed it so far so like i said i will link everything below that i can find but this was from amazon so got a book here i will probably end up packing a couple of others this is one that i just had in his bag already but um i will probably take one or two books in total um because he's quite happy to like reread the same ones and yeah they're like a bit heavy so we don't want to take loads and loads but these are just the that's not my books and he loves them he specifically likes the squidgy ones i picked up this from the works it's a little um pop fidget spinner so it spins but it also has the little pop bubbles and this was four pounds down to two pounds in their sale um i did pick him up another one that he has in the car and he plays with quite a lot so um yeah i have got one here for the plane and i know he likes it so that'll be a good one to like pick out and I'm kind of I don't know debating whether to leave some stuff in the packaging because I think that kind of like makes it more exciting when you're getting it out for them because you're like what is it and like you're opening it and they're like oh um but for like taking rubbish on the plane I don't know maybe I'll just take it out of packaging here probably most of it but yeah got him a little fidget so I picked this up this is a water magic this is the animals one I just got this on Amazon um again I'll link it below um I have actually lost the pen though we took this to a wedding with us last week I had like put it all aside like fresh for the plane but um I panicked that he was going to be like a nightmare at the wedding and alas he was tricky at the wedding um so I'm glad we did have this, but I must have left the pen there because I can't find it anywhere. Um, but I do have another one of these water pens um, for his like doodle mat that we have. So I can just take that. I assume they're all the same. So basically what you do is you get a pen and it's not ink or anything. You just fill it with water and you just colour in with the water pen these pages. And if you can see, they are kind of, you can kind of see they're lightly coloured, but... Um, for him it looks like there's like nothing there and then when you colour over it with a pen you can see there's a farmer and a tractor and hills and trees and everything becomes colourful and there's yeah a few different ones and they're obviously reusable because once the water dries up then it's clear again so you can just keep using it over and over so they're a really great one for keeping little ones entertained it's a little bit bulky maybe to take but this is a um like a puzzle kind of heads and tails thing i could potentially just get rid of the box for the sake of the flight and just take like because it says there's 24 cards so I could maybe just like take 12 and just do six pairs instead um rather than 12 pairs um that might be an option to make it a little bit less bulky well, I think we've got a visitor yeah, he's on our video Buzzy look come and see my camera he's super tired guys and he needs a bath Ollie didn't realize the time he thought it was three but it's actually six <gasps> Oh, someone's happy all of a sudden. You are such a little flirt with the camera. Say hi. Where's your waving? Hi. We're filming a video about you. We are. We're filming a pack with me for Buzzy's holiday. Oh. Oh, don't show him all his new toys. <gasps> He's got us some new toys for holiday. My bubba. Right. Go back with daddy then, have a nice bath, and get or get him to bed. Do you want to take? 
just focus on him for now. Get him up, he's tired. Tea, yeah, I'll have a tea, please. Mm, I think it will help my throat though, but I'll give it a go. I thought he was coming up to bed. I can't believe you didn't realise the time. Yeah. Your little bed? <laughs> um, anyway, sorry about that brief interlude. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is maybe just like condense this down and take less pairs um but i do think a little matchy head and tail game will be fun for him on the plane it's a flip buddy you flip them inside out so it looks like one thing on this side and then it like reverses to look like another thing and this is a bird one so i think it goes from this yellow one that you can see to this blue one and he has a right thing about birds he like makes a specific noise it's like Cuckoo, cuckoo, when he sees a bird. Um, so I saw this and I thought he would quite enjoy this on the plane. Just, you know, something new and exciting to get out at some point. Something else that I got was this magnet tin. Um, another suggestion from Robin. Um, I don't know, I don't think I got the same one as hers. Hers was like slightly more advanced because her little one's a bit older. It was like letters and things. <coughs> and I was hoping to find one of cars. Do you know what though? I actually have magnet paper. So I could potentially make my own cars magnets for him because he loves cars. And now I've got this metal tin, I could do all sorts of magnets in there, couldn't I? That might be a really good idea actually. But basically it is a metal tin with magnets in, so they stick to it. Um, and the magnets have got all different kinds of things on there, little bugs, butterflies, um, all kind of insects. And then it's got these backdrops as well that come with it, um, where you can make like little scenes. So you can like obviously put that to the back of the tin and then stick the magnets on top of it. Um, but he likes just kind of grabbing them and moving them around. Um, Anything that's like little and fiddly that they can like spend a while like picking at and like moving around, I think is quite a hit with little ones his age, do you know what I mean? So yeah, we had this at the wedding and you know, it kept him a little bit entertained, but there was a lot more going on. Whereas I think on the plane, when he's like confined to our lap, something like this will be really handy. Again, from Amazon. Then I got him this farm animals book. So this is a felt um, book so it's got a little story running alongside it but um, this page here is felt and then you've got this little box up here that's all these little felt shapes that you can stick on again to make a little scene um, I don't know how much he'll be making scenes out of stuff um, but again he does just like grabbing things and sticking them on and like piling it all up and things and yeah whilst it might not be like um, something he like fully understands what's meant to go where right now um, it will last us and yeah so it, all this stuff isn't just for the plane it is like you know for him to have after obviously but yeah I thought these would all be quite handy so I'm gonna pop those all in his bag um, I do also have these little tubes, they're like ones that you pull and they make a noise, you know, like that. Um, again, I just saw these in the works and they were super cheap. I got a pack of four, but he's got two of them somewhere else already. Um, but yeah, I kept these two for the plane, just something for him to play with. And I haven't got together the bits that he is going to take out of his toys yet, um, but I will definitely grab cars. Um, he loves these little toot toot cars. This is one that he has already, but he's got quite a few. So I think we're going to pack a few of his little toot toot cars and other little kind of small toys that he has just so he's got familiar things on him and he loves just wheeling cars backwards and forwards like this he'll do this for ages so um i'm thinking on like the tray um in front of us or something i don't know he can be wheeling it around the place and hopefully keep him happy and distracted and fairly quiet also in his bag i'm gonna take a couple of changes of clothes so i think i'm gonna have him initially get on the plane in this little um like all-in-one um it's like a onesie kind of thing it's um i got it from vintage it's a levi's one it's got mickey mouse there and it's got little ears on the hood um so i think that might be a nice one to head on to the plane with it'll be hopefully nice and snuggly in that and i'll just pop him in like a vest or something some kind of outfit underneath in his bag i think i'm gonna take him a couple of changes of clothes just because accidents happen all of the time and i want him to be like nice and warm and dry and cozy this little um 
like tie dye shorts and jumper set from Primark and it's just got this big Mickey Mouse thing on the back and I think it's super duper cute so um yeah I will pop that on him it'd be nice for him to be like fresh and in something lighter for um when we arrive to Florida which will hopefully be a lot hotter than London where we're leaving from um and then this is the little t-shirt I'll put him in with to go with that outfit and then I think I'll also pack another just t-shirt and shorts set so yeah I'm definitely gonna be packing a change of clothes for me and for Ollie in our carry-ons as well I don't know if I'm gonna take all of the toys that I've got there in his bag because it's taking up a lot of room but I think once I condense like the puzzle down like that is a huge box and it will just turn into like a little pile of cards so that'll make a huge difference um but I'm also gonna put this um in his bag so this is a little backpack on its own um but we've never used it for that but it's a decent little space for a little one but what it is is basically he wears this on his back and then these go over his shoulders and this like straps up across his tummy and it's a little rain so if he's walking um we can kind of keep him in check i know some people don't agree with these but um i've also heard like in america they're quite frowned upon so i don't know if we'll get some funny looks in disney world but yeah we think it's really handy to have him not running off everywhere and i also have his changing mat so this I have shown before but it's really handy if you've not seen basically it's got this zipper across here where I keep like nappy bags in there um, but you open it out and it's got wipes in this top bit um, and then you keep nappies in these little wings here as you can see it needs restocking um, and then on this end it's like a little padded pillow section so it um, obviously folds out to be a changing mat but it has everything in there that you need to change him so really really handy. I'm gonna apologise now if the energy has like dropped on this video because I am starting to feel rough and I've been talking for ages because I filmed another video before this so yeah Covid is winning at the minute this evening but um Thanks for hanging on in there and I hope I'm not too boring. <laughs> Something else I'll be taking is our little first aid kit. I will make sure it's topped up with everything, but it has things like cowpole sachets, a little cowpole, cowpole spoon, um, plasters, paracetamol, little miniature sun cream, things like that. Um, I will probably kind of give it a rejig before we go on the plane so I don't take anything that doesn't need to be on the hold, in the hold, um, and I can check in stuff that, you know, like the sun cream. We won't need that on the flight but this will be really handy in our parks bag um to keep everything together in there I also always have in his bag is a little silicon straw because I do also always take a water bottle but if that if I ever forget I know that he will drink out of a straw so um yeah I take this so it can always be popped in a cup or anything if he ever needs a drink we've got a straw good to go I've got this bag full of snacks so I need to go through this um but this has got a couple of bottles of formula. Buzz doesn't drink formula anymore. He does drink cow's milk. But for the plane, I think it'll be really handy to have some pre-made formula because then it can be drunk at the temperature it's at and it's easy peasy. Um, and for babies, you are allowed to take through um, formula through security. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of snacks in here for him, for us. And yeah, in terms of his ears, like because we've got... Um, worthers for like sucking on um but for him i'm hoping to be able to give him a bottle for takeoff and landing so he can be sucking on that and hopefully that will prevent his ears getting sore um that's kind of the only tip i've got i think that hopefully will help him something else that we bought for the trip um is a new pram now he was getting to the point where we were looking at getting a new pram anyway um so we thought we would have a look and make sure we got one that would be really helpful for our trip so the one that we went for is the Ingolcina Quid 2 and it folds up really well. If you can see here, this is its size folded up. You can clip off this handle um, to make it more compact, but yeah, this is it. All folded up, super light. You can like wear it on your shoulder. It fits in an overhead locker apparently, so it can come on the plane with you, which is amazing. Apparently it's skinny enough that it fits down the aisles of a plane as well so potentially we could put him in it on the plane and like wheel him off the plane probably won't but um in order to kind of get our hands free and sometimes if they make you check in your pram or stroller you don't get it back until like after security um and you know you can be waiting in security for ages and ages so it was quite important to get one that we knew we could take on the plane i do know that sometimes you can take it all up to the plane with you and they give it to you once you've landed but yeah this was quite expensive um but we did get his first pram second hand so i didn't mind so much buying this one 
but basically it opens up really easily. But this is the pram. Sorry, I'm not showing you the best way, but I've just gone down to bed, so I don't want to go and disturb him. I was going to film this in like a different room <laughs> where there was more floor space, but whatever, we will make do with it. The hood is really lovely because as standard, it goes like this. That is like a decent shade. I don't know how much you can tell how I'm showing you, but here there is a zip, which I have already unzipped. So it can actually extend all the way around there, which, you know, really provides such a good shade for if he's trying to nap. Like I can lay him down. This will keep him, you know, protected from the sun. Also love this back bit here pops out so it can just be like a hole. So if he's in here and it's a really hot day, that can act as like an air vent. And it'll be nice and cool in there. We'll have his um, fan on the handle here probably. And yeah, it folds up and down so nicely. It pushes really nicely. The braking system's really simple. Oh, I found the pen. I don't have to get a new pen. I found the pen for his um, water pad. Um, but yeah, so this I really do like. The basket is a fine size. It's really easy to put up and down. It's just this like drawstring thing here um, in terms of like him laying down or sitting up. But yeah, it's really nice. It pushes so nicely. It doesn't feel like creaky or crappy at all. Like a lot of the prams we were finding like the next stage up just seemed like they were gonna fall apart and he's quite like a big little bubba. So big little, <laughs> big bubba. Um, so we wanted something that felt like sturdy for him. So yeah, really, really happy with this purchase. And to fold it up, again, you just like, I'm not doing a very good demonstration, but this is a pack video, not a pram review video. So hopefully you don't mind, but yeah, you literally push this little white button here and then hold the handle there and then fold it together and I love it I think it's really really good so this is the pram we're going to be taking with us on holiday we will also be taking a rain cover because it rains a lot and I don't want to leave the pram outside a queue and then come back and it has rained and the pram's soaking so I'm going to try and always put the rain cover on it um when we have to leave it outside, I think that would be a good idea. That is pretty much everything that I kind of have planned and packed for Little Man so far. There are still odd bits and bobs, like I want to take a couple of his like silicone like catch bibs, you know, the ones that have the little lip on. Um, I'll be packing a couple of those and um, lots more snacks and... Um, pouches you know like the fruit pouches and things like that just so I know he can definitely be having those and getting like some goodness into him. Lap infants don't get a meal on the plane so what I've done is I've swapped my meal for a child's meal so he can have that and then at the airport I will grab myself something just so I know he's definitely going to get a hot meal on the plane and um yeah but aside from that loads of snacks, loads of nappies, wipes or something else I need to pack but I need to go and buy some more um and socks i need to pack some socks but he doesn't have enough socks that i can pack them two weeks in advance and him like not need them so yeah near the time i can add bits that he's still currently using i'm really really excited and i can't wait to share with you my pack with me um the outfits i'm taking and toiletries and all of that stuff so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope it hasn't been too boring i'm sorry that like i kind of went a bit slow and sleepy near the end i think i just need to get myself a lem sip get in my pajamas take my makeup off and go and sit with ollie and watch ozark for the evening i think because i am starting to feel quite rough and I need to give my voice a break. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your top traveling tips for toddlers. Anything you think I've forgotten. Oh, there was something else. I am going to be taking my bubble wand. I got this on our 2020 trip and um, I'm going to probably empty this out and take it empty and then buy the solution out there or I don't know I just don't want it to leak on the way but I'm sure he will want one when we're out there and do I want to pay 20 odd dollars for another one no I would rather just take the one I have um he's not fussed on what character it is he loves this thing so yeah I think we'll be taking this with us but I just need to make sure she doesn't leak although she came back from Florida quite well um but yeah don't want to risk it so yeah we'll be packing this but yeah, let me know in the comments your top toddler travel tips and I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye guys. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say.